One of the main questions I asked myself while I was Googling, is buying two Pro Controllers is actually worth it? Huh. I guess you just have to find out on this one. So, I've actually wanted to share this because I know a lot of people who are out there buying a Nintendo Switch or at least struggling to find one have decided, you know what? I want to decide what's the best accessories for my actual Nintendo Switch console. Now for those of you that actually got a chance to get a Nintendo Switch, congratulations because you know it has been so difficult for so many people. So I'm just simply just giving up and saying, you know what, I'd just rather just wait until the holidays. And you're deciding, okay, is it worth getting me a Pro Controller? Now I did do a review in my previous videos about the in-depth review on an actual Pro Controller in itself. This is exactly is the Pro Controller as you see here. And I must say, I truly adore it and enjoy it because it is a great product. I must say, compared to all the other controllers that I have played, this one has felt the best and I do love the functionality of these controllers. Now, I know for some of you, they're kind of looking at, okay, is it really justified for the price tag? Is it really worth 70 bucks? You know what? Honestly, it truly depends on the consumer because, again, if you're a type of person that have big fingers like I do, you want to have something, honestly, that's going to give you that comfort feel for long periods of time of gameplay. When it comes to games like Mario Kart, or even playing games like Street Fighter, or even, in a sense, Splatoon 2 that's coming out, which I got a chance to play the beta of at the time of this video, or even, I would say, ARMS. This is a great controller to play in comparison to the Joy-Cons. Now, it's not to not the Joy-Cons because they are great controllers for its proper proper use. But when it comes to pro controllers, I mean, I gotta say it hands down, y'all. This is the way to go. I decided to go ahead and get two pro controllers. And that's why I'm saying, folks, yes, it is worth getting two. If you can go ahead and fork out the 70 bucks to get both controllers, I would say go ahead and get them because, again, you're going to definitely enjoy them. And, of course, your friend is going to love you for actually buying an additional one because after them getting the chance to play with the Joy-Con grip controller versus them playing the Pro controller, Oh yes, you're definitely going to see the difference. I truly do endorse this product as you already obviously know. I mean, highly, it's a great product. It's very comfortable when playing and especially when you're playing for those long periods of time. I mean, just the grip. This is really what gets me going because the grip in itself, when you're gripping the controller, especially when you intensify and you're playing Mario Kart and you're trying to win first place, obviously that's not going to be the way to win. I know when I was playing Street Fighter and playing Mario Kart, I had a struggle with having to, somehow my controller was just doing things on his own. I was pressing buttons and I wasn't trying to press. And the thing was is that it was very frustrating having to navigate and make sure that I'm not pressing the wrong button at the time that I don't want it to be pressed. And so this helped comfort and object all of those type of issues because the fact this is a controller that really gives the big hand players a great way to play when playing the Switch. And because of the fact that, again, I know a lot of people that are probably, you know, shining the fact that, uh, it's 70 bucks, but, I mean, obviously, you're probably going to spend more on a lot of other things anyway. I mean, just on the simple fact, you got to think about on the long-term value. It's a controller that holds 40 hours of charge. It's a controller that you and your friend can be able to play. Likely, the most common time when a person is playing on the Switch is usually about one to two people, so at least I would say get at least two controllers. I mean, I'm just saying, at least get two. I'm not telling you to get four, but some people are extremists. I technically got four controllers now. Not four pro controllers, but two pro controllers and two other Joy Cons with the grip attachments, which gives me a total of four controllers. But for those of you that are deciding on whether or not to get it, I would say highly endorse it. I think if you got the money to go ahead and fork it out, I'm saying you're going to love it and your friend or whoever, your buddy who you're playing with is going to love you for having one available for them because you are definitely, I tell you, you're definitely going to see the big difference when you say it. So leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you honestly think that it's worth getting two controllers for those of you that actually got a pro controller? Now, I ain't telling anyone who hasn't actually used a pro controller, never played it. Don't comment and say it's not worth it because you're looking at the price tag and you never tried it. Let's just think about it like this. It's an accessory that you know guaranteed that you are going to use a lot if you play your Nintendo Switch. Hands down, anything else, you're going to use the Pro Controller every time you play your Nintendo Switch. So over the time of you actually using the controller, you're going to get your money's worth, guaranteed. I say this because, again, this is a great 
product. And so I just want to get the feedback from those of you that actually tried it. Are you going to get another Pro Controller? Is it worth two? Or are you just going to stick with one? Tell me what your thoughts are. Comment below. And again, this is your host, DQ, at another Park Tarts and Onions review. And I give this review a sweet five review, five out of five. And again, this is where awesome people come to watch. I'll see you guys in the next video.